Hey everyone, welcome back to Disney Nuimo's DIY channel. Today we are going to be working on these cute little pants or shorts. I mean, you can make them shorts if you want to, right? So here's, this one does elastic. So this is what we're going to make today. <clears throat> these are different kinds. Of course, you can do anything you want with them. So, what you're going to need is this pattern from my blog, Disney Nuimo's DIY.blogspot.com. Remember, you have to save this as an image and then print it from your full your photos. And make sure that it's set to fit the screen because I'm hoping that I mean I was able to print this one off just fine and you should be able to get ones that are just the right size see that it's my original pattern it should work just fine so again Disney Nuimo's DIY dot blogspot dot com and so you'll need that pants pattern the baggy one you can use it's just it makes pants that look like this. Like, they're so big. These are the first pants that I ever did. I mean, look at the difference of that. They're kind of like balloon pants in a way. Maybe, maybe that pattern will be good for something in the future. We'll see. But yeah, so this is what we're going to do. So you'll need that pattern. You'll need fabric of your choice. This time I forgot to undo it. But again, it's another fat quarter found at Walmart. That's how you can find them. You mean fray check, safety pins, probably some regular pins for this one, especially to cut out the pattern. Yes, it is pattern. Um, your piece of elastic just like with our skirt, has been cut to 4.75 or 4 and 3 quarters inches. And then maybe even your seam ripper, because mistakes happen. And then this is completely optional. This will help you like with your hems, possibly. I wish I knew what it was called. I need to look it up. That's if you want everything like perfectly centered and whatnot. Or not centered, just even hems, right? Okay. So let's go ahead and open this up and I can cut out my pattern. So with this pattern, you're gonna have to make sure that you have four pieces and you need to either cut out two at a time for both sides or whatever. But since like last time when we did the shirt, I decided to cut out multiple at a time at the same time because maybe it's just because I'm lazy, but I don't want to deal with it, right? Okay. So let's make this pattern. Let's fold, let's fold the fabric this way until it fits just right. See that? So what I'm going to do is fold it two more times that way and then it'll give us exactly what we need for our pants. So just like that until that fits on there. This works only really with thinner fabrics. So I fold it over multiple times and I realized I forgot. See, here's Eeyore wearing a pair of our little pants. They're not as tight, I guess you can say, as the Disney ones because Disney has this little seam, right, that's open right here, which allows like the feet to go in and out. But I actually made these patterns before I got official Noemos. 
so I didn't know that that was a feature, but I think they still look good anyway. And then, then you don't have to worry about squeezing in like monster foot over here, right? Like look at his feet are ginormous, so it's a lot easier this way. So here, we're gonna go ahead and pin this down here. And then we'll cut it out. magic happens, right? We've got one. Two. And then see, both of these are that way. And that's what you need. You need two pieces facing this way and two pieces facing that way. So now, our first step to make this the easiest way of doing this for everybody. We're going to hem the bottom of all of these. Oh wait, no hemming. Fray check. We're going to fray check everything. Then we're going to hem. So I will get to you after this is all dried and fray checked and I have hemmed the bottom, which it will be that lovely quarter of an inch that we have been doing for most of the other patterns. Okay, as you can see, I have the fray checked. It's all dry. Well, you shouldn't be able to see it, right? On this one, it dried invisible, which is really nice. And then I hemmed all of the bottom really close down here and folded over. That's about that quarter of an inch. <clears throat> now our next part is going to be, we take these pieces like this, and we're going to sew this part of the two halves together. So you take your right sides and put them together like that. And then you're going to sew down here with that tiny, tiny hem allowance. And I'll show you what that allowance size is when I get it on the machine. Okay, I'm zoomed in so you can see how tiny this allowance is if you haven't watched that any of my other two videos yet. Let's see, we're gonna get these matched up. You can pin it, of course. For me, I just don't care. So right there, I'm going to match up this edge of the fabric. It's kind of hard to see a little bit. Let's see if I can... You can see the edge of this hole on the presser foot. I'm gonna sew that close for all of the hems except for the one where we do the casing for the elastic and I'll show you that. got my two halves sewn together. What I'm going to do is split them open like that and kind of press the seam down with my fingers. You can do this with an iron, of course. 
But again, these are so tiny, sometimes it doesn't even matter. It'll stay pretty well. Do it for this one as well. And if you want, you can like take a needle and thread and sew that down so that it don't flap open on you, but I hardly think you'll notice. So what we need to do now is flip one of these this direction with the right side up. And then we take our other half and we line that up. Just like that. Because now we're going to sew this whole curve right here. The, you know, I guess you can see the, the front, the back, and the pelvis area. Just try to be a little more tactful. Uh, and so yeah, you'll use the same seam allowance as we did to sew this. Okay, now we got that sewn. Uh, my machine ate that a little bit, but it'll be all right. So this is where the new emo like sits in there, right? And if you open it like this, that's what kind of makes like the two pant holes, right? So what you're going to need to do is take these corners and make them touch on that whole edge right there. And you'll see there's the beginning of our pants. So for now, we need to sew one side only. So it makes it easier to do our casing. I've tried to do this the normal way like you do with pajama bottoms, but this has proven to be a lot easier. So go ahead and sew this with the same seam allowance as everywhere else. All right, we got one side all sewn up. And so now this is the part, <coughs> excuse me, where we need to make our casing. And that casing is gonna run all the way up on the front here, which is what's gonna make the elastic part. Let's get Eeyore over here, this elastic part to hold up our pants. I'm so short, it's so high up there, it's so cute. So to do that, we're gonna have to press these three seams a little bit with our fingers. So it makes feeding the elastic through the casing a lot easier. Press, press, press quite a bit. I guess on the side seam, you can go even further. It also kind of helps set the stitches into the fabric a little more when you do something like that. This one's going to be a little harder because of that. Ooh, that might be hard to get the elastic through, but we'll see. Okay, press, 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 press. Okay, so now we're going to take this whole edge here. And we're going to match up these points to fold downwards because the fabric, if you know the pattern, right, is at an angle like this. So when you fold it down, you're going to have always like a little bit of a tail right there. So don't be worried about that. So suppose I could redesign the pattern so you don't have to worry about that. But we're going to fold this to the thickness or the width of the presser foot. And I'll show you once I get it set up. Okay, as you can see here, my fabric is exactly, <coughs> sorry, the distance or the width of the presser foot. Now I'm going to make sure that my needle is to the left so there's enough room in here for the elastic. So let's go ahead and sew this part. Maybe needles would be easier for, or pins would be easier on this part. But you do you, do what you're comfortable with. Now 
the casing is complete, ready for our elastic all on the top there. I've also trimmed the edges so you don't have that funny little tail. Not necessary, but you can. I guess since you trim it, you can uh, do some fray chip there if you want. So now I've got my safety pins to help me put the elastic through. I'm gonna hook it on here. It doesn't matter whatever side you're more comfortable with. This might be my more difficult. As you can see, I kind of, if I have to on the seams, I squash it down a little bit. But yeah, I got it though. Just got a feel for that safety pin. Just keep trying. Oh, cr my safety pin came undone inside. Oh, there we go. There we go. And of course you can use this little pin to like uh, keep it right here. So the whole elastic doesn't just go right through the whole thing and you don't lose it. It's happened a couple of times, but thankfully this is not as tricky with that part as the skirts because those have a lot more fabric. Okay, now our elastic is through. Going to make sure our elastic is there. I'm going to kind of move this up slowly so we don't lose that. What we're going to do is sew right down here along this edge. To complete our pants. Make sure to go over this part a couple times just to give it some more strength. After we have that sewed and strengthened up there, we can stretch it out a little bit and then turn it right side out. You see, and you can trim any little extra threads. And there you go. Made some new emos pants. And I'm gonna go ahead and show you what these look like in a minute on Tigger. All right, here are our pants on Tigger. As you can see, they're just the right length for him. I think he's one of the taller new emos out of the ones that I have. I guess I have them all, the ones in here in America, but it fits him just fine. In fact, it just barely kind of goes underneath his shirt there, so it's just perfect. The stuff, the, his proportions are probably a little bit better than Eeyore's, but that's okay. They all look cute, right? We're cute. And see, they fit each other just fine. And see, you can use any material you want. You can do anything to make them creative. Add little embellishments. Um, I've thought about, like hand embroidering like some little pockets or you know like how some of the Disney clothes the official ones have little details like that so I hope you enjoyed watching the video be sure to share your creations either on the blog at disneynewemos.blogspot.com or here in the no, not here in the comments, duh. But, or with me on Instagram, which is Disney New Emos DIY. Of course, still no hyphens. <clears throat> so, I hope you had fun watching. Now you can create a whole on outfit for your little guys, or even the girls. The girls can wear pants. But I hope you had a lot of fun. Thanks for watching.